How are you? Uh, I've had uh, diarrhoea and I've done it twice in my trousers. Because I know there's a lot of sugar in fruit. But it's not as much as there is in half a ring donuts. There's a ring donut, it doesn't even have a middle. <laughs> <laughs> I pointed that I had to wait an hour and 22 minutes. And no. I specifically spoke to the girl this morning. I said it would take three minutes of your time. She I'm, gave me I'm some sorry. cock and bull story about no. putting it in the wrong column. That's not my problem. When did you last do a poo? Mm, a few months ago. <laughs> a few months ago. <gasps> I know it's malignant. If I die, I die, but I don't want to die. I just leave it to the doctors and please try to come out the other side. That's all I can do. Hello, Patney Mead, Amanda speaking. How can I help? Got a really lovely lady, Doctor, Dr. Rose, at quarter to four this afternoon. It is that too early for you. I've got one at um, 10 o'clock on Friday the 24th. Not this Friday, the following Friday. Can you wait that long? Hello, Mrs. Hall. Come on in. How are you getting on? Well, I feel extremely well, apart from all the odd bits of my body. Oh, right. Uh, well, I'm going to have a look at the... <laughs> I hope that's not all... going to be too strong. I have tested it, but it is rather a strong one. <laughs> Thank you very much again. Oh, my... That's a very large bottle. Goodness me. <laughs> Do you have an orange orchard somewhere? <laughs> You must do that. That's very kind. Thank you. Tell me about your ankles. My osteopath convinced it's my back. Right. And I think it might be coming from the bad knee. Of course, there is a third reason that it might be. I've been suspicious right from the start that this is an attack. And the devil is extremely clever at coming in under disguise. So one thinks, no, it's just my swollen ankles. No, there's nothing spiritual about this. Mm -hmm. With the work I'm doing, and I am with five people going in quite deep what into kind of, their life. And what their, kind of work is that? It's, uh, I'm in a healing ministry. Right, OK. okay. <laughs> And some of them have been involved with the occult. And if you go into the enemy's territory, he doesn't like it. And one night I was completely insomnic, couldn't sleep at all. And I thought, well, this is unusual. And then I thought, well, let's see if it is an attack. And when I prayed against it, I felt drowsy immediately and went straight off to sleep. <laughs> I mean, I can't fake that. I think it, medicine is an art, and as part of that art, we do have to build in space for people's beliefs, and that has to form part of our approach. So when you, you, you get a, one of these attacks, what makes you convinced that it, it is an, a, an attack? Well, when I say attack, I mean like you saw just now what happened to me. What was it that you noticed? Oh, what was it? Well, when I was saying, uh, 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 I wonder if it's an attack, you see, and that, that's another manifestation or reaction or call it what you will. Okay. <laughs> She's been complaining of 
Ichiban right, since okay. the weekend. In the last probably month or so, he doesn't seem to hear us. Mm -hmm. Hello, good Hello. afternoon. Come on in. Hello. Hi, Peter. Come and take a seat. Who's reading? Is that you? Yeah. Hardcore reading, three days. What, the whole thing? Yeah. Well done, you. Wow. Oh, good boy. But outside, I feel miserable. Oh, OK. Yeah, you mean, how can I help today, is what you mean. Let's not talk about the book. OK. <laughs> what would you like to talk to me about? What's been happening is he's ha he has sort of a croup type symptoms as hacking croup cough and then it's all can't breathe and his throat closes. We've had two 999 ambulance calls uh, this week. Actually they were very good. Well, not, I, I've only rung them twice and once when I was having an asthma attack and I didn't know what it was and they got an ambulance out to me. <laughs> because I couldn't breathe, I was actually going, <gasps> and I couldn't speak, and I was like this. <laughs> it, it's very difficult for me to comment on, on of course uh, it is. a lot of what you've said. Yeah. Um, from my point of view, I think there are medical explanations for this. Yeah. These things mm. take time, and they need work, and if the swelling becomes uh, problematic, we can think about changing medications. I believe everything you say, mm -hmm. but I think probably the other side's got involved too, simply because of the work I'm doing that they hate. Right. <laughs> when, when you invade their kingdom, they hate it, because after all, the devil hurts God through hurting his children. And if you try and help his children, uh, you expect to get hit. Right as long as it's not detrimental to them or the people around them. People can carry on with their beliefs and I don't need to prove or disprove them. Okay. Bless you. All right. Thank nice you very to see much you. Indeed. All right. Thank bye bye you. then. Bye bye. In that episode where you're feeling you can't get your breath, are you coughing no. just completely constantly like a yeah. spasm of coughs? Yeah. Uh, it's, it's more uh, you cough and then you <gasps> and then so have then you any idea what that might be because no, you're you, you're doing a really good almost a textbook example you <coughs> no, I think this is whooping cough what this is absolutely no, typical of a, a whooping cough. So that sound is a whooping cough sound. It's called the 100-day cough because it's a very, very persistent cough and it comes in very thick spasms and often makes people feel like they can't get their breath and they feel like they're constricted. Why didn't the a &E people say that? All their job is to make sure you're safe to go home. It's not really their job to try and work out the bigger picture, whereas that really is our job, and it's the job of doctors in clinics. So just head up slightly and just say, ah, oh, for me. Ah, 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 ah. Uh, I mean, it's, it, actually, at the moment, he's also got tonsillitis. He's got a lot of pus on the back of his throat and in his tonsils. So he's really not very well. Mm. Yes. Is that contagious? Mm, yeah. I told you it was that Ben kid. <laughs> Look, isn't it? Yes, it is. I'm Dr. McKenzie. This is your first time at the practice? Yes, exactly. Where are you from? From Germany. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Have you had a GP in England uh, no, ever yet. before? No, no. What sort of work do you do? I'm a dancer and choreographer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What's the problem? Um, well, basically, I have a sort of a, a bit of a pimples on the pubic area. Yeah. Um, maybe to take a look at that. 
When did they first start down on the pubic area? Mm, maybe nine months. Mm -hmm. All right, okay. Uh, you pop in behind there for us. Need to take off whatever you need to. Will you just yelp if anything hurts or feels tight? This ear is probably... Oh, my goodness, this is so sore. Try and look straight through me rather than looking at the light, OK? Uh, I have to say, today, of all days, it's actually not so bad. That's because you're coming to the doctor <laughs> and that's just Murphy's Law. Yeah. OK. So, um, it's basically these ones. Right. Yeah. So now there's like a cream or something. <laughs> yes. Okay, you can straighten up there. Yep. A little cluster of lesions here in the pubic area mm -hmm. are probably viral warts. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Viral warts. warts. Okay, okay. Yeah. Um, they're not classically on the genitals themselves, so I don't think they're genital warts. Yeah. But um, I think that we can give you some substance to paint on them, and that should make them go away. Okay. But I want to see you in three months' time to see okay. if that's recovering. Good morning, Putney Mead, how can I help? Hello. Oh, I'm sorry to keep you waiting. That's all right. Good morning. Do you have a seat, Mr. Williams? How are you? Oh, uh, I haven't been too good lately. No? I've had uh, diarrhea. Oh, dear. But, and I've done it twice in my trousers. On these two occasions, I got on a bus to go to Wimbledon and I couldn't get off quick enough. I don't travel a lot because of this condition. I know. Is there any blood in the, in the, in the stool? No. Mucus? Slimy no. mucus? No. no. OK. An over-nervous activity yeah. is another cause for diarrhea, yeah. and there may be some association, the fact that it's happened twice on a bus. Yeah. Because of the dystonia, your, your visual world is yeah. wobbling all the time. That's right. And that writing centre um, yeah. You know when you're on a ship, you know, you have yeah. the thing that brings you back to, to the I've centre. Been on, I've been on a ship recently. Have you? <laughs> you were probably the only one that didn't get seasick. <laughs> Might have. Yeah. Anyway, when patients get a change of bowel habit, we've got to be concerned that it might be a symptom of colon, um, growth in the colon, a polyp or even a cancer. Yeah. Okay. Have you ever done one of these before? A stool test. Do you know what to do with it? Pee in it? No. Nope. <laughs> do down in it. Yeah, do down in it. Oh. All right. Oh. <laughs> You've lost a kilo since I last saw you. Two pounds and a bit more. Oh, lovely job. So fantastic. I think I have dropped half a stone. And have you been trying to lose weight then? Very much so. Do you want to pop on the scales and see? Yes. So pop on the scales for me. Would you mind if I weighed you now? Is that OK? Do you want to jump on the scales and see what you are? Uh, well, I've got heavy clothes on. <laughs> Don't look. 100 kilograms. <laughs> right. How are things going? I cut the grass. Fantastic. Yeah, <laughs> twice. 
and we've been to the park a few times, didn't we? Mm -hmm. uh, but we haven't done no skipping. Okay. I'm but good. we've done a I'm few bits. Okay. Yeah, it's, it's trying to get your mum to go skipping. Yeah, about you? You yeah. go skipping. Okay. <laughs> That's you told. Yeah. Yeah, I've had a couple of things in there that I know I shouldn't have eaten. Oh, sticky toffee pudding, scoop ice cream. Mm. I need a little bit. I love this, a couple of chips. It was. Yeah, no, no, I lot. believe you. <laughs> yeah, I practically but, gave her most of mine. You never. Look, if you're not going to say anything productive, <laughs> don't say anything at all. <laughs> OK? This one, 3rd of October. What, with all my alcohol? Mm-hmm. Not that much. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine cans and a bottle of wine. That's quite a lot. Is it? Yeah, it is actually. Because for women in a week, it's meant to be no more than a bottle and a half of wine. A week? A week. Okay. Hello. Hello, come on in. Hi, boys. Oh, hello, lots of you. How can we help? He has a constipated and he's itching on the bump. Okay. So what is it? Maybe he's an insect? When, when you say he's constipated, what do you mean by that exactly? How it's many... not every go to the toilet. Sometimes my pee doesn't come. Does it feel hard? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, some Because his, his diet is very rubbish. It, sorry? His diet is very not bad. Not very good, okay. Doctor, he's not eating the carrots, he's not eating properly chapati, no curry. He says all the time chicken nugget, chicken don't rice, like curry or chicken chapati. No I rice, I... only chicken uh, biryani. Okay, so it hurts you when you do a poo, does it? Mm, sometimes. And when did you last do a poo? Mm. A few months ago. <laughs> Have you got tummy pain? I imagine that would cause you some tummy pain not going for a few months. Let's see if we can help with that. And his behaviour is very, very sh grumpy. Is that when he hasn't been to the loo often? I think so, maybe. A bit connected, it might be. Yeah. Okay. And what do you have in your I'm pat lunch? I'm giving the uh, chicken nugget, yogurt drink. Yogurt and apple juice. Apple is uh, an apple or apple juice? No apple. No, okay. Do you eat any fruit? Mm, I do. What I do eat you? apple without the skin. Okay. Without. And satsumas? Oranges? No. Banana? Huh? No. Anything apart from apple without the skin? Uh, he has allergies against healthy food. Mango? No, just mango. Good. You like mango? Sometimes. So what I've done is I've given him some lactulose lact syrup, yes, which I'm... will help the bowel to move. Yeah. And sometimes if he's got a lot of poo inside the tummy, it makes his appetite go down as well. But you'll need to take the syrup I'm giving you. Do you think you can try? Dr. Vitabix, I say yeah. Vitabix, he can eat the raw Vitabix. It's much better. It is a lot of fiber. You can have Vitabix. Oh, yeah. I have Vitabix. Yeah. I can eat those. Yeah. How do you think you're doing with fruit and veg in that? I'm OK with the bananas, it seems. Okay. But, um, I'm struggling a bit with um, other fruits because I know there's a lot of sugar in fruit. But it's not as much as there is in a half a ring donut. No way. There's a ring donut. It doesn't even have a middle. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to have an argument about a ring donut. <laughs> uh. Did you do anything at the weekend, Amanda, or are you just at home? Mm -hmm. Saturday we went, stayed in. Sunday we went down to visit parents. Yeah. Visit my mum and dad. She made a nice dinner. Mm. Did she? Good, yeah. Your mum, yeah. she a good cook? Yeah. Is she? <laughs> she just came back from Grenada, so she had some ingredients that she bought oh, from the Caribbean. Okay. So it was yummy. Proper Caribbean. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
Someone else has an appointment. Yes. Yes. My son. Okay. My skin was getting bad, and then I then um, I see I lost my my normal cream, and then I yeah. found this cream that I had, and I took it, and it actually worked, and it was really helping. I think it's called Betnovate. Okay. So. We have to monitor children who have eczema. It's really important that you see the doctor regularly because you've been seen by the specialist at the skin clinic, haven't you? So, um, can you take off your jacket and show me your arms, please? Okay. And how do you use Betnovate when you start Betnovate? Um, I use it twice a day. Okay. Your treatment should be Elecon once a night for up to a month and then alternate days and then at weekends to prevent recurrences plus dermal to wash and epiderm to moisturise. Have you been doing all of that? I don't like creams that sting. But your eczema's not going to get better without them. That's, there's no other treatment for eczema. As you get older and past puberty, when all your hormones settle down a bit, your eczema should probably settle. But if you don't use cream, you're going to have difficulty with your eczema. Here you go. Okay. You're starting to be of an age, Hack, where you can start to take control of this a bit yourself and look after it yourself, okay? Given that his mother had so much to juggle and was up against the difficulty of language as well. I felt that the older son had quite a leadership type uh, demeanor and role with his siblings. And I suppose I hoped that that might have encouraged him to, to use his treatments more regularly and more effectively. Okay, bye now. Come on in. You're all right. I'm Louise, one of the nurses. Hi. You've got some stitches in, is that right? Yes. So you, can you tell me what the stitches were for? Um, yeah, I um, was making a new hole in my bowel and with a wasabi knife and it slipped. Oh, God, that's gone through me. It went, yeah, just kind of cut at an angle, but it was so, there was a, a oh, flap yeah. of skin. Oh, anyway, yeah. I'll, I'll show you. Um, yeah. And so they stitched it? They stitched, they stitched it, yeah. There yeah. were five stitches. And when was that? Uh, this was two weeks ago now, okay. so they've been in Fine. a while. So there's nothing to worry about when we take stitches out. Okay. It's not painful. Now, you don't have to look. You can look away if you want. Okay. Or you can look. <laughs> Whichever <laughs> suits you. No, they've done a good job. Really fine stitches. Neat. It took ages for the, um, for, the for the anaesthetic to work. You all right? Yeah. Look, it's really good. It's looking really good. Doesn't look infected. It's fine. So you might have a tiny little white scar there, yeah. but nothing, nothing major. Okay. Great. Okay, no worries. You take care and don't do that again. <laughs> bye bye. What are you worried about? Well, if I die, I die, but I don't want to die. <laughs> uh, I'm worried in case it's... I know it's malignant. And what have they told you so far? The gentleman I saw last time that was going to do the operation. Mm -hmm. He said they were going to do keyhole surgery. Mm -hmm. um, we'll see what's in there. <laughs> oh, I, I'm not looking forward to it, and I am frightened. Yeah. I'm going to be honest with you. I think you have to remember that you've been through quite a bit, and each time you've got over it, you've sorted yeah. it out, and you've yeah. moved on. I have. I have. I have. Please, God, I come out of this one. But I'll give it a good try. <laughs> oh, I think you're a great man, you know oh. that.
Look, look, I put the lot worse on you. You, you kept an eye on me, you checked Oh, me. I see. No, you, yes, you did. Yes, you did. No, I don't think I did, but... And you, tell me. you took notice of what was going on. And mm. uh, there was something else going on mm. there, aren't there? Mm. The key thing is, how do we stay positive? Because I think that's... And you're yeah. a positive person, aren't you? And uh, you are positive, yeah. and I know you. I mean, honestly, my friends say, I don't know how you laugh. I just leave it to the doctors and go mm. and see what happens and please kind of come out the other side. That's all I can do. Yeah. I'm sorry I'm running late. No worries. Come on in. Here we are again. <laughs> Have a seat in this one. How can I help today? Well, rumour has it you're packing up medicine. What? And going to Hollywood to become oh. a film star. <laughs> yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. <laughs> I've been discovered. Yeah, at long last. <laughs> well, the reason I'm here, Doctor, is I've got a lump coming round from the collarbone. The collarbone. Of the top rib. Just, uh, just before the sternum here. We have lumps and bumps everywhere on our bodies. Some are, uh, are normal, and it's quite normal to have them. But some lumps um, can be due to disease. We've all imagined the worst case, where the lump may turn out to be cancer, cancer that's spread, and that uh, it's untreatable. I noticed it about a couple of weeks ago and thought okay. to myself, you know, yeah. Hey, yeah. well, that's, that's not yeah. right. Yeah. Have you had any accidents or injuries to the shoulders over the years? Well, this... I know you were shot. <laughs> <laughs> it was a silver bullet as well. <laughs> <laughs> Giving bad news is something that I'm very experienced at doing. And if I'm fond of someone, I feel I'm the right person to do it. I, I will do it to the utmost of my ability. Right, take your, shall we, do you want to just take your T-shirt off? Let's see how we feel a bit, and then I can compare the two sides. Okay. Very determined, but it's almost there. Sorry, there is a wee bit down there. Um, it started, I thought I dislocated it, and it was sort of clicked back. It's playing havoc with my golf swing. I do get a heck of a lot of indigestion, which manifests itself not in, you know, searing pains or anything, but wind. I mean, I can't eat a meal without burping. Okay. It may feel slightly different now. David, I'm having trouble finding an asymmetry. Yeah, yeah, there it is. That's really... Feel there, feel yeah. in there, and then feel that side. Okay. Oh, it's, yeah, it's yeah. fuller, isn't it? It's yeah, fuller, but I think it's this there. soft tissue. I think it's the sternocleidomastoid muscle. <laughs> um, from my it anatomy. It's bony though, you know, I mean it's... It, yeah. Turn round for the back. Okay. You've got quite um, a hunch here, or quite a curvature of the spine. It's just the way you've always been, is it? Yeah, I think I've got slight curvature. A slight curvature, I think, it's yeah, probably yeah. It's probably from my royal heritage. <laughs> <laughs> Probably an abnormal. What about these? It's all that interbreeding, wasn't uh, yeah. it? Yeah. 
I think if it's... I, I'm not it worried is, by it. it. it Can it I is, reassure it is, you? It is, yeah. It, it, yeah. It, it's tender when I press it. All right, you know, I think. But, okay. but is it... Shall I leave it? I think you should leave it. And see how we go? Yeah. It? Oh, right, OK, Doc. All right. Fair enough. I, I, yeah, I, I, I think have... hold off for now. <laughs> I think you have no cause to worry at the moment. But you do a bit, don't you? Anything that's lumpy, you think... I oh, know, yeah. I know. So I can't see. feel anything there, but I'm more than happy to um, uh, re-examine you if symptoms change or if you're worried about it. Yeah. Um, my door's open. I'm not, I'm not going to Hollywood. <laughs> I'll be here. <laughs> Your anyway, umbrella. Thanks very much. That's all right. All right. All right. See you right. next time. Way, thank you very much. Right. Thank you. Hi. Sorry to keep you waiting. My name's That's Dr. Okay. Gray. Come and have a seat. How can I help today? Um, it's a couple of things, but mm. that shouldn't take too long. Um. I had a blood test about four months ago and it came up that I, my thyroid was borderline um, underactive. Okay. So I need to get another blood test done because I'm actually starting to feel a lot worse. Okay. And what kind of symptoms? Um, I'm getting? exhausted all the time. Yesterday all I did was sleep. I okay. couldn't get up. And how is your mood at the moment? Um, not good. Um, I feel like I physically can't do anything. Okay. I'm just, I'm literally just exhausted. I'm leaving with energy drinks. And the the redness you've got in the corner yeah. of your mouth, how long have you had that for? I've been, I've had that for years. Okay. And they're really bad lately, like mm. really bad. And they have really deep slits and stuff. So everything's just a bit overwhelming because I'm... going on at the moment. Well, yeah, because I've been signed off work now for two years. Mm. And then being tired and stuff on top of everything is just not helping. Well, it's always important to ask, particularly when you get ups and downs. With the downs, have you ever had any thoughts about harming yourself? Um, I have, but I haven't acted on it. Because I've been down that road before, mm. and it was really hard to get off it. I've got past it, and I don't need to go back to that. Okay. Let's have a look at all your reports. Your vitamin D was low, and your B12. Sometimes that can be a sign of B12 deficiency. When was the last time you took any vitamin D supplements? Can you yeah, months ago. Months ago. So it might just be, it's not good to keep checking it. It's better to just take it regularly, okay. but we can check that again. Your folate was low in um, May. Are you taking any folate supplements at all? No. Okay. And your ferritin was low, so you will probably have to do something about some of these levels. Yeah. Managing time is probably... The one thing I'm most daunted about in terms of qualifying and being a fully independent GP, 10 minutes for coming in, sitting down, dealing with the issue, doing the investigations, writing it up, just seems completely unfeasible. Well, so I suffer from migraines, um, like quite severe migraines. Um, and I've been getting them quite a lot recently. Well, what we could do, why don't I review you with the results of these blood tests? So if, um, if we booked you a follow-up appointment and then we could address your migraines properly yeah. in that one, we've got um, more time, is that OK? Yeah, that's fine. Have you had migraines for a long time? Yeah, I've always had them. Pain. It's the last thing you need with everything that's going on. I know. I feel like I'm, just, like I'm trying a lot to get better, and it's always like something that sets me back. There you go. Thank All you. right. Nice to meet you. You too. Take care. Bye bye. Yes, please. <laughs> 
Great. Okay. So, shall we just go through the criteria? Yep. And then we can talk about any issues that came out yep. of it. Is that all right? So yeah. Just kind of do the assessment. The training scheme is um, quite structured in terms of what we have to do in addition to seeing patients. And part of those assessments is talking through cases with your trainer. Makes effective use of resources. What do you think? Did you make effective use of resources? So, uh, consultation was 10 minutes. Yeah, so you kept within the 10 minutes. Maybe at the detriment to the consultation. Mm. And at around seven minutes, yeah. she mentioned migraines. Yeah. And you didn't explore that a little no. bit. And, I, and mm. that's unusual mm. for you, I know. Mm. So for me, just migraine is a 10, 15 minute consultation, you know, on mm. its own. Mm. And I just couldn't see how I was going to deal with that okay. and organise the blood tests and prescribe her sertraline and do her follow-up and all within 10 minutes all of that yeah well, it's actually, tricky cause, so i'm obviously not keeping an eye on the clock so i don't know that that's seven minutes i assume that we're okay you know it feels like we're coming to the end of the consultation so i wonder yeah. whether actually maybe going through a period of breaking down the consultation mm. and looking at time a little bit because i think there might be an anxiety mm. about time yeah, but it's actually it not there yeah I wondered whether maybe 30 seconds, maybe mm. two or three questions about migraines might have helped you a little bit. Yeah, I don't think we came away with a very clear picture of what's... How it's affecting how it's, no. really. So, yeah, so mm. I kind of, uh, in terms of actively mm. placing it, I mean, I think mm. probably need to, needed to have a bit more digging. Yeah. Probably. That yeah, yeah, no, I agree completely. Your cholesterol is pretty good. Yeah. 4.8, that's yeah. very good, okay. Liver is good, um, and your kidneys are good. They're all very good, mm. um, except mm. vitamin D. Oh, really? Very, very low. Oh. Mm. It's normal to have it above 75. Yes. And uh, yours is 11. Oh my goodness. Yes, very low. How strange. And yet I love cheese and milk. Yeah. It's strange, isn't it? At least half of the vitamin D that we get is from mm. the sun. And mm. you hardly ever go out. No, that's probably, yeah. Yeah. So, um, even, you know, in, in the dullish weather, mm. the skin can absorb the sunlight and give, mm. make some vitamin mm. D. Mm. Just looking at your whole lifestyle as well. Yes. Do you have any worries about that? No. There is a bit of a wait for nurses, just to warn you, because we're running flu clinics now. It's like flu season. Oh, here we go. Your finger. Ooh. Come on, sharp scratch. White. You working out? Yeah, yeah, still working now. I can see the whites in the garage. <laughs> okay. That's it? Yeah. Okay, just pump for your fist for me. Okay. I pump up. Yeah, pump up. Long time when I see you. I know, I haven't seen you for ages. Well, I've been, it's been two hours in a row, Merton. Yeah. For this lung cancer. Now they discharge me and they give me months to live. Is that all they've given? Is yeah. that all they've said? Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. So have they stopped treatment then? Or are yeah, you, yeah. That you're not having any more treatment? I'm so sorry about that. Yeah. Well, I'm 77 next week. Press down firmly okay. on there for me. There we go. And they're talking about, you know, what I'm going to do when my heart stop. So, well, I'm dead then. <laughs> it's just yeah, the heart stop. that's it. 
Ask me where I wanted to be, if in hospital. Ah, uh, so trying to get you to be prepared and things like that. Yeah, yeah. Did you smoke then, did you? Or... No, no, I was smoking before, yeah. Before. But many people never smoke. Smoke and get it, it doesn't yeah. matter, does it, really? Well, oh, you're finished with I'm all, it. I'm all finished with you. Maybe not going to see you again. Oh, don't say that. You will. I will see you. Don't say that. This way go. Let's help you with Thank this. You. Angry, shouty man on I think it was Tuesday. <laughs> You saw the specialist, Dr. Turner, I think, recently. Yes, I did, yeah. Did they make any changes to your medicines then? No. They did want us to reduce the medicine that you take for um, feeling paranoid. Oh, yes. And misulparide, reduce it by 50 milligrams. Yes. Okay. To 50 milligrams in the morning. My daughter's a bit worried about having it reduced, you know. Um, I used to think that um, there was something wrong with the milk, you know, it tasted metallic and things like that. And um, that it would cause cancer or something, you know, if there's anything in the milk. Oh, um, I used to think someone was following me, you know. You are on your own most of the time. Mm. You don't have many visitors. Do you get out every day? Not every day, what no. Do? I should go up the road to the shop and get a paper or something, you know, for the exercise. Yeah, uh, yeah very I much. Should. When I come across somebody so socially isolated as Kathleen, oh, yeah. well, it can be very sad. Being alone is as bad for your health as smoking 15 cigarettes a day. So I think um, it's something we're going to hear a lot more about. And it may be the big disease of the future. They were going to try and get a befriender where somebody would come and spend some time with you at home. Oh, no, I didn't know about that, no. It would be something you'd be interested in? No. no I appreciate it's not your mistake. Yeah. I've got an appointment to see him. Well, it's actually booked in the doctor. Well, that's that's where the problem is. Is no, no, it's not mine either. It's actually a new girl who made a genuine mistake, and we're sorry for that. No, no, that's OK. I know it's frustrating. What's your date of birth, please? What medication is it for, please? If you just bear with me, I'll just see if it's on the ground floor. Hold on, please. <sighs> Robert, I'm uh, sorry to keep you waiting. I was disappointed that I had to wait an hour and 22 minutes. Yeah, what's it all about? I yeah. specifically spoke to the girl this morning. I said it would take three minutes of your time. She said, I could see you at 11.40. I came out of London to see you, and I've been here an hour and 22 minutes. Did they... Uh, she I'm, gave me I'm some sorry. cock and bull story about yeah. um, putting it in the wrong column. That's not my problem. It's like the busiest I've ever seen a doctor surgery. I haven't got anything at the moment. Can I just ask what it's in regard to? Yes, finally. Yeah, sorry, I was half an hour behind schedule. I had three people out there with booked appointments, and um, I sent a message to the reception saying, well, if all those three agree, 
then fine, but um, it may have been a difficult conversation. Uh, okay, we have, we have, we have. But anyway, anyway, uh, what, what's it all about? Um, just very briefly, I'm going on an expedition at the end of November to Morocco, to the High Atlas Mountains, right. to climb a peak of 4,000 feet. They need you to sign me off to go because of my age. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. So if anything goes wrong, they can sue me rather than themselves, right? Yeah, yeah sort of did. It's just one form. Right. I'm not certain why these external organizations need general practice uh, confirmation of health. I've known Robert as a patient for probably 25 years, but it doesn't necessarily guarantee from an insurance point of view or from a health point of view that nothing's going to happen um, in the wilds of some other country. Good. Is that it done? It is, yeah. Good. I'm not going to charge any money today. I think uh, we've charged you enough. Why would you normally? <laughs> we <laughs> normally would, yeah. Well, in that case. Yeah, so I think we haven't quite broken well, even. We won't, we won't you, offset my time. We, we still owe you time. Thanks. Okay, Robert. Bye now. <laughs> Bye now. Did someone mention about Robert Dyson, who doesn't want to see me? He wants to see you. Yeah, I've just seen him. Okay, awesome. He thought he was booked in with me. You know, he came in from the city apparently to get this thing signed, and uh, you know, so he's been there for an hour and just a three minutes sign this, and I'll be off to so I can climb the Atlas Mountains. Why couldn't I have done that? I mean, I always feel almost guilty coming to see you, yeah. but my good lady said I must go yes. to the doctor. And I, I was climbing in the Alps about um, a couple of months ago, mm -hmm. and I fell on my signet ring, which mm -hmm. was on my left hand finger. Now, about a month ago, when I was in Greece, uh, because I got a house there, mm -hmm. it's, the finger swelled up really rather dangerously and it was terribly painful. Obviously the blood wasn't getting through the signet ring into it. And in the end I went to another village and got it, after a lot of agony, got it sawn off. They cut the ring in three places. What happened around this area here? Well, that's where they put the screwdriver in oh, and sawed it off, sawed the, sawed the signet ring off. Gosh. Do you have a full sensation in that finger? Ah. In this finger, mm. yes, it's painful when I do that. I mm. have a full, full sensation there. And can you grip your finger completely? Yes. Okay. And does it stop you from doing any particular task? No, it doesn't. Mm. I played, I played croquet at the other mm. day, and mm. <laughs> I played quite well actually, if I know. Okay. Hi there. Hello. Hello. Come on in. Hi. Sorry to keep you waiting. That's okay, don't worry. Let me give you a few things. You can be horrified by them if you like. Right. This is your Christmas present. What's that? Okay. That's the clot from last night. Blimey. Exactly. I thought it was a little large when I got this first explosion of blood. Yeah. The first couple of splatters were pinkish. Right. And then it went straight to regular. I see. We don't want this back, you'll be pleased to know. <laughs> but we... <laughs> I'm not sure I necessarily want this as well. No. I mean, um, I... Shall we use this for my shall sandwiches we... tomorrow? Uh, shall <laughs> we... We know you can get blood clots. Yes. After you've had a procedure like you with right. where they go inside right. the bladder. So right. that's not unusual. And you can get quite large clots. Right. So now 17 days after you had yes, your... Yes, the 17th day today. Cystoscopy. And yes. you're going to be seen next Tuesday. Tuesday. And let me add, uh, when the doctor came to do rounds afterwards, mm. she said, you have absolutely nothing to worry about. Right. You will get the appointment. It will be at a cancer clinic, but that's just because it's the name of the clinic. You have nothing to worry about. All right. Yes. Okay. So they don't think it was a bladder well, I tumor? Don't... 
I know it was the beginnings of one because I saw yeah. it on the cytoscope. Okay, fine. So but maybe it was they caught it very early. Yes, thanks to which you. Is great. Right. Right. You, given that this is going on quite a long time after the procedure, yes, you do need to drink more. I mean, more I than know, you normally do. It's really important when you're passing clots or you're bleeding, because what you don't want to do is for a big clot to uh, to stop you being able to pee. Of if you're course. dehydrated and you get bigger clots. Yes. Yeah. 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 Well, I was absolutely stunned at the size of. The one you just rejected, yes. I haven't rejected it. I mean, I, I've, I've, it's, it's been very nice to see it, but I'm, I'm not sure I'm going to do very much with it. What about the prostate? Oh, she said it's fine. Did she? That was the, the urologist, but they said she's the same as you. She couldn't get to the very top. They need to recruit some longer-fingered longer doctors. <laughs> I know. It's a short, yeah, shortcoming on my part. I'm sorry. Thank nice you to very see much. you. I'm glad that's gone well, actually. Yes. I think it's got the best yeah. mm -hmm. outcome. Yes. Exactly. Thanks for the early diagnosis. No, I'm glad we got there. Okay, thanks. Bye bye, bye now. Right, I'm going home now. Hell yeah. To the Yizau woman, Shizau. To Sizau. You can have it from us. <laughs> I've got stage one okay. bladder cancer of an aggressive type. So this is the similar to the coil. This is what it sort of looks like. So this is the speculum going in. Yeah. Okay. Uh, ah! Keeping it really simple with left hand. Yeah. That's a fine right hand is. I'm commanding my hand. It's just very, it's very tiring. <sighs> if you or someone you know has been affected by any of the issues in tonight's programme, please go to channel5.com slash GPs for information and support. Brand new next tonight, it's the world's biggest hips.